Morning everybody, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project and <laughs> check this out 60 almost 68 degrees outside it's warmer outside than in this morning at nine o'clock in the morning That I just had to show you that's pretty amazing Batteries are looking pretty good these days with um, Nine o'clock in the morning. We're pulling in 44 watts, so I'm getting more power into the batteries than I ever did before as well um, I can't get this to network with my modem because my modem is sort of garbage. That's a um, one that they sent me from the internet service provider. Anyway, um, looking pretty good. We, although we had a lot of power on last night, charging the uh, laptops and uh, running lights and all kinds of stuff. And batteries are topped right off in the morning. I like it. Cat TV. Hey everybody, it's a desert out here, but we're working. It's got to be like 80 degrees or something out here, it's terrible. I've retailed this whole area here, I've done that row over there. Chris is moving the 2x4s, and I'm going to continue tilling this whole section around here. And we're going to just till the whole entire garden. And I'm measuring with stakes where the center will be and where the walkways will be. So I'm going to get this running again. Today is really intense gardening day, so we're going to get all this, uh, should be able to get it all tilled today with both of us working together on this. We're going to put all the 2x4s in the back for now. I'm going to just till over all the earth, all of it, and redo the whole thing. And then uh, start planting. So we've got a really good start on this row over here, but we've got a lot more to do. So it goes all day. Hey everybody, it's uh, 84 degrees right now in the heat of the day, so uh, we're gonna have a little siesta. Um, 
I'm gonna take a little break, but I feel pretty good about the progress here today so far. We've got a large chunk of the garden tilled. So after the sun goes down below the trees, we'll move the rest of this wood and I'll till the whole rest of this garden. And it'll be done, all done. So taking a break right now, it's really hot. I'm just gonna keep going until it's too dark to see. I uh, got it all plowed over at least once, some, some twice, some three times. The grasses are really hard to go through and there's some really hard packed stuff and some stuff with a lot of rocks yet. But, look at that people. It's a 50 square foot or 50 by 50 garden. 50 foot long by 50 foot wide. I'm just gonna keep at it. So that's it everybody, this is the day. This was the day. Just tilling, and it is a lot of work. Well, there it is everybody. All done. Uh, I'll have to hit it again. Some of the, some of the rougher spots over here was pretty dense grass. So we'll start planning from here over because this is all clean and good. And over here where it was really bad, I'll have to hit it again in a couple days. Just wait and see what's, uh, what it looks like. And I've got tons and tons of rocks. I've got the wheelbarrow mostly full. And then on top of that, I um, got a big pile back there I started. Because there was no point in running back and forth. So I've got massive amounts of rocks. Some are huge actually. I can see a bunch down in here. So tomorrow in the daylight, I've got to run back through here. Pick up all the rocks. There's a lot. And all the weeds and clumps I was throwing in the compost pile. In the compost bin. There it is. We've got a garden. This is the best I have ever done. But, uh oh, focus. It's getting too dark. Alright, but this is the best that I've ever done. But, um, this machine is the reason. This machine is incredible. I will never go back to a front tine tailor again. The front tine tailor makes you do the work. The rear tine does the work. It's such an impressive difference. I would not have been this far if it wasn't for this beast. So I'm so happy I got this machine and got it running. Those of you who didn't see that video where I restored this machine, go back about a couple weeks and see where I restored this old, uh, I think it's a, is it a Troy built? I don't remember. Yeah, this is a Troy built, so now it's a Troy rebuilt. This thing was actually seized up. The engine was seized, and uh, now I'm using it to work my garden. So, on the path to self-sufficiency, here we go. Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Good night. Hey everybody, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Just a uh, little update. I'm not showing you very clearly and up close what I we're looking at, so I don't get in trouble for YouTube um, copyright. But I would like to share with you a video that someone made of a phone call to 
my local sheriff's department in an attempt to get Melanie taken away from here. So anybody who is interested in watching this video, it's not my video, it's the person who called the police, is a member of the Dot Sucks website, the people intent on causing us harm, and they will not stop until we are shut down and Melanie is out of this country. Uh, if anybody's interested, go down and see the link below. I'm not going to bother you much more about that because many people are not happy with the drama, although I would like you to know I go through this every single day. You have no idea. They don't stop, they don't relent, and they attack every single day. And this is just a little um, little tiny look into what they do to us every day. I wanted to share this with you, so go down and I'll have the link in the uh, comments and then the video description, which is perfectly fine for sharing links. So I shouldn't get in trouble for that. So go on over. If, if you are interested, if you don't want the drama, stay away. That's why I'm not going into too much detail. Go on and have a look. Now, hold on, let me pause the camera. And I'm considering, this is a do-it-yourself world forum, and I am considering um, shutting down the comments on my channel. Now, I just want your opinion. I'm considering shutting down the comments on the channel because I get so many reports of people being harassed by my trolls, like through private messaging, and a lot of people are being harassed to no end until they actually leave my channel, and many are getting private messages with horrible filth about me. Some people believe, some don't. Some people get frustrated and just can't take it anymore and quit watching my videos, which is what my enemy's goals is. And many have, through the years, advised me to shut down the comments on the video and open up the comments somewhere else privately where I can control them. Because YouTube does not allow me to control things anymore. And I'm tired of the trolls posting comments and deleting stuff and then blaming me, causing more and more and more anger against me every day. I have not been deleting comments. You may notice I haven't been on the comments much at all. At all. So... Uh, it's not me doing it, but the trolls are happily blaming me, and many have turned away from me, and many have joined their side against me, starting to believe the stories. Uh, anyway, if I were to shut down the comments on the videos moving forward, any videos that were previously existing would stay as they are. Moving forward, anybody who posts a comment would have to come to the forum which I would have 100% control over, and there would be no private messaging, so nobody can attack and harass you. This is voluntary only, and I'm, again, this is theoretical. Please tell me your opinion. If I were to shut down the comments, would you come over to the forum? Um, the forum has been clean. I've had it for many years, and I have had no problems, no issues at all. It is a pretty rock-solid forum and uh, pretty solid security. So please give me your opinion, everybody, if you would come over to the forum if I shut down comments on the main channel in order to finally eliminate the harassment and filth, at least on the videos and at least to my viewers. It won't stop them from trying to ruin my life and Melanie's life, but it will stop them from hurting other people. So tell me what you think. I know a lot of people will be mad and a lot of people won't follow through. This does not change the videos. If you just watched videos, nothing changes. If you're just watching videos, that's all going to be the same. All I'm thinking about doing is shutting down the comments. So please give me your opinion, everybody. If, if I did turn off the comments, then I would, do, I would have literally a discussion section for every video that I had. And you could come on over and, and uh, carry on as you always did, only in a secure environment rather than where trolls can attack and harass you and threaten your life or tell you how to commit suicide in five different ways like Ryan keeps doing. Anyway, tell me what you think everybody. Just theoretical so don't get mad, don't leave my channel, don't unsubscribe. Just tell me what you think and uh, I'll go with the majority rule. But I have come to the decision that it's better for me to limit the their ability to harass other people. So. Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project, good night.